Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have what really looks like a major love reading. It does, right? And so somebody really uh, adores you here and uh, they've gotten to a realization that all they need is you, right? It's kind of like the, uh, the Beatles, all you need is love. The love is all you need. That's what this is about. But this is about somebody who has gone through a major change in their life uh, because of, I feel like awakening, an awakening kind of, you know, bopped them in the head and they said, whoa, what's going on here, right? I feel like they have been away from you and that, uh, and if not, uh, at least partially, you, you know, like you guys are maybe not together or possibly if, you're, if you are together at all, it's sporadic. But we have the balance card and we start with the two snakes and here they are. And, uh, this is, this is temperance and, um, these two snakes, one's red, one's black. And, you know, this is, uh, they're together and they're wrapped around this tree and they're looking at each other like, wow, this is balance and harmony. Wow. Woo woo. Right. And so this talks about, uh, you give me a little and I'll give you a little and, uh, we'll blend these energies together and, you know, we'll conquer the world, right? At least love land for sure. And so, you know, underneath is this man or a vision of a man and he's looking, he looks a little solemn, but it's not really about him being solemn or whatever. It's about him having the wisdom here. <clears throat> Temperance can be about wisdom uh, and the truth. And so he is here like, you know, like this is the truth. This is the balance. I feel like your person realizes that you're their life partner. And that with you, there is balance and harmony in their life. So they let, really love something about you, Sagittarius. We have meditation. The meditation card is, you know, they show the woman here, but this talks about observing your thoughts. So, you know, when you meditate, this is what you are supposed to do. You're supposed to kind of, uh, you know, some people do it just quietly, but meditation is, a form of it is to observe your thoughts uh, but you were supposed to be observing your thoughts all the time. So you can be in a state of meditation all the time, basically, because you have centered yourself and, uh, you're, you know, you're using your own power. And the reason you have this power is through relaxation, uh, and basically training your mind. Right. But, uh, when you meditate, you visualize beautiful things, or you say to yourself, tomorrow will bring enough, like I'll always have enough, or I am wonderful, or I am healthy. Whatever you are saying is always positive. This person is observing their thoughts about you at this time. I feel like they have learned to meditate, right? And maybe it's not even in the formal way, but there's many ways to do it. There's not really a formal way, right? Uh, people do it in a different way. Mm -hmm. I was listening to, uh, uh, reading about Louise Hay and she does it in her own way. Everybody kind of does, right? Affirmations are, uh, they are also a form of meditation. And so when we meditate, we, you know, when we do, we are in a relaxed state, but I feel like this person has meditated on you many, many times. What's, uh, what's next to it here? And I feel like this person has changed so much that they are, their thought patterns are different and they are in a calmer place because you have tamed them in some way and you didn't do it with your whip, Sagittarius. No, you didn't do it with your whip. You did it with your love. Very kind of by default and very indirectly, right? Kind of directly and indirectly live dangerously, Sagittarius. Yeah. And you know, uh, I feel like this guy is living dangerously and, uh, mm -hmm. this person's going to take a chance and they are meditating about this actual chance that they're going to, that they're going to take this gamble. And this gamble is coming to you. I believe it is to tell you that they love you and they want, they want you back. But here he is, you know, wearing his hodgepodge kind of seventies, uh, mm -hmm, plaid. I don't know what you want to call it here. Plaid outfit. I wouldn't get caught dead wearing that, but you know, I'm not him. I also wouldn't be dancing on these two sharks. So this person knows they're taking a chance. They know that by coming forward, we have traveling next to it. And this traveling card, uh, they're showing the man on the horse and here they are traveling to you, right? Uh, living dangerously, taking this chance and meditating all about it. Yeah, this is a trip. It's, it's trippy how these come out, 
uh, in their own spread, right? And yeah, I was thinking about doing them separate, but maybe I won't, right? So, you know, like separating, having this, uh, the Oracle spread and then, you know, the video itself, but maybe, but here's a traveling card and here they are on their horse, Sagittarius, right? Maybe because of gas, right? Oh, that's not funny. Uh, no, it's not. And so this traveling card here, here's the baby here, uh, attached to the umbilical cord. This person has grown. That's really what this is. Uh, yeah, let's look at traveling. They have grown immensely. And uh, maybe when you were with them or something there, or just, you know, because they have transformed, right? They have, let's see what they say about traveling. And I feel like they are also physically traveling traveling to you. So this is uh, a, 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 con a subconscious thought, right? And this is a physical action as well. It is the person who knows others is knowledgeable, but the person who knows himself is wise. The person who conquers others is strong, but the person who conquers himself is powerful. And when we say that you have tamed them, it's just because you were like the instrument that made them wake up. Now they have learned to like, uh, kind of conquer themselves. Yeah, they have. And this is most powerful. And this is the point of meditation. I can't stress that enough. And that's going to be in another video. I just haven't made the, uh, made the time. No. So, okay. The person who accumulates is ambitious, but the person who is content with what she had with what he has is rich. Yeah. This is, you know, all about your person transcending, growing, maturing. And they did it uh, probably through some type of a powerful realization about you, but I think there was some pain here. Here's the five of cups in the reading. Now we have uh, Shayla. Yeah. And I'll just, you know, and this is she, she who creates, this is creativity, originality, and spontaneity. Yeah. This is very original. This is kind of a, a once in a lifetime situation, uh, but they want to create with you, but this traveling card next to spontaneity, they're coming spontaneously. Like you're not, it's going to go boom. You're going to see a text or something that, you know, can I see you or something like that? She who aches. And this is somebody who's sad. Yeah. Smile now, cry later. Right. You guys ever hear that song? Mm -hmm. That's just about somebody who is smiling to the world. Right. But you know, they cry when they go home, they cry. Right. Maybe this person has done this for you because I feel like they felt a lot of pain here. Now, maybe this is you. She who aches this perpetua the name like indicates or implies that they've been doing this for a very long time could be, or maybe somebody will cry forever, right? Perpetual. But, uh, I feel like this person is, is kind of withdrawing in, in silence right now. And here they are meditating on when they're going to come forward right here. Right? Yeah, they are. Okay. So now we have the rooster. Yeah. Is anybody a rooster in the Chinese horoscope? Mm -hmm. I've only known two roosters and they're very, it's kind of a, like this Aries energy. I feel like it is. So this is confident, passionate, and courageous acceptance. The rooster, right? He is, he's definitely the divine masculine, right? And he, you know, he's about, he, he, he wakes people up in the morning. He said, get up and take some action right over at the farm. Right. I, I feel like we used to have a rooster in the neighborhood. I don't remember. I uh, lived in a few places, but I'm thinking to myself, why is that rooster here? Uh, can you please send the rooster back to the farm? I'm trying to sleep, darn it, right? <laughs> and so this rooster is uh, about this person accepting this with courage. Like, I feel like they were afraid before, Sagittarius, and now they're like, you know, it's interesting once you get into this meditative zen or, you know, this relaxed mode in your life where you harness your own internal power. Yes, you do, because you become relaxed and, um, uh, this is how you, you sharpen, not sharpen, but you strengthen this, your subconscious mind, you strengthen it for yourself, right? On how to live a happy life, right? By telling yourself beautiful things. Yeah. I'm gorgeous. I'm the best and the best in the West. And why not? It's not comparing yourself to anybody. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of like if you, uh, if you hired, if you had an employee and you told them only good things, then you know, about their performance, right? Then they're, you're going to have a stronger employee. You are. And somebody who wants to work there, it's the same type of thing, but they are courageously accepting this 
And we have the hawk, observation, truth, and visionary messenger. See, they're coming with their vision. Yeah, Sagittarius, they could, you know, be transforming from a rooster to a hawk, right? This little hawk, you ever see him up in the sky? I do. Mm -hmm. But this observation and the truth card, uh, this meditation card talks about observing all your thoughts. Or was it the traveling card? I think it's the meditation card because that's the whole purpose of it. Yeah. So they are observing their thoughts and the truth is here. Remember I said the man in the tree, he's like, this is uh, temperance, but here he is at the bottom. Like, this is the truth. You bring me balance. You bring me harmony and let's, let's do this together. Right? So here they come and they are observing. They're bringing you a, a, a message about their vision for you guys to be together forever. Yeah. Where's the, yeah, that's what it is. And uh, and this is the truth. This person believes this is the truth in their life, right? And you tame them, Sagittarius. You said, you better behave or I'm going to send my, my, uh, my, my leopard after you, right? And they said, please, Sagittarius, please don't do that, right? You're already a tyrant. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's see what we have. Uh, mm -hmm. And so in the, in the overall energy, Sagittarius is the chariot with the five of cups. Now, some of these could be your person's energy, right? Because clearly we have a rich story here. We do. And <clears throat> in the overall energy is movement. The first card is about movement, victories, journeys. This is fast movement typically when we see the chariot, right? So it's about somebody who gets in their chariot and says, you know what? I'm going for this. Yeah. And I'm doing it with no, but you can't get in your chariot and be a weenie. You just, it doesn't work out. So if they're in their chariot coming, it's because they have this courageous acceptance with the rooster. Yeah. And here what's challenging this or influencing this or this other behavior that has, or a situation or energy that has to do with the chariot is a sad ending. It's possible your person's going through a sad ending right now. And they are in solitude, perpetua, she who aches. Yeah, this person, whoever has grown here and realizes that you're the love of their life and they have, they have grown so much uh, is also going through some type of sad ending, I believe. Let's get a card on that. And we have the eight of wands for change. Yeah, because remember, they believe that you're the love of their life with this kind of taming over here. Yeah, this, she, this, this leopard is letting, she, uh, he has allowed the empress to tame him. He's like, it's fine. I love it here, right? I don't, I don't need anything else and I'm tame now. There's something wild about this person or they had somebody else. And this five of cups could be about them having somebody else. It doesn't have to be wild, but I feel like you guys understand, right? Yeah. And this is for change and growth. And the eight of wands is in the heart of the matter here. And this means that they are coming very soon. This also may be communication, especially with the page of swords here in the near future. Yeah. And this other card, uh, messenger, visionary messenger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They put their magnifying glass on Capricorn or Sagittarius, right? Mm -hmm. They had to use the magnifying glass because the monocle wasn't enough, right? Yeah. It was just... They, maybe they can't see more than two feet in front of them. <laughs> That's not funny either, but, uh, uh, <coughs> it's kind of, yeah, maybe not, but I feel like in the past, right? We're not talking about anybody's real vision. Uh, you know, uh, if they can, if they're 2020 vision, we're not, we don't mean that at all, but they can see everything. Now they can see the truth. And so what you need to focus on is the six of cups reversed. Can you see the cards? Let me move the camera now. There we go. So you need to focus on the fact that, I mean, this is the spread that they're returning to you six of cups reversed and that they love you and that you are so warm and fuzzy to them. Like you're the best in the West for this person, Sagittarius, right? Mm hmm. You are. Okay. So let's see what we have. And, uh, this, and that could be the East or the North or whatever, you guys, that's just an expression, uh, an American expression. It is right. That's what they used to say. It's best out West. And they meant like California. Okay. But that was a very long time ago. <laughs> so, uh, we won't talk about that. Right. But here the past Sagittarius, the moon, the moon card is what you need to leave behind. I feel like this is doubts. In this particular reading, 
Yeah, you need to leave the doubts behind. Yes, you do. It could be what's in the past now. They might have had doubts. They did. I said they're kind of they were kind of a a scaredy cat here. I'm just picking that up here in the reading. Yeah, because they have courageous acceptance too. Now, over here, the 10 of wands reversed is your strengths. They're dropping a burden here. Part of their burden was probably maybe another relationship or some other situation here. But part of their burden that they were carrying, I believe, maybe maybe, maybe you're dropping the burden here. You could be, but I feel like it's this person who is coming. This burden they're dropping is not knowing themselves. With this taming card, Sagittarius, and meditation and traveling and balance and all this stuff here, this person... Um, God, what was I going to say? Oh, they, you, you taught them like they learned about themselves. And it talks about that in this traveling card. It says the person who, uh, who can, you know, conquer others. Okay. That's you're being strong, but when you conquer yourself or you know yourself, that is when you are powerful. And this is what this person has. This is their journey. And so this burden that is being dropped is some type of old belief system. It could be a, another relationship, but this is in your corner. That's what they mean by strengths. The 10 of wands, somebody's dropping a burden here. Maybe it could be an old grudge, but this, because this person has awakened. I mean, so much, right? The snake too. The snakes talk about living a new life, right? They eat their own skin, right? Yeah, they do. Interesting. So here's the page of swords and this is in the near future. This is them contacting you. It is. Let's get a card on that. And we have the Empress. So, you know, this could be them wondering if you're going to be their Empress, right? Like wondering if, like, if they're going to see this through or if this will come to fruition and if they're going to create with you. If, because it could be too, you know, that this person is, they might be wondering here if you still love them for some, because this is love and affection, the Empress. It's a nurturing energy. It's a creative energy. We have creative and originality here. She who creates. You may be wondering, uh, is this going to come to fruition? You could. But I believe that this person is coming with messages here. Yeah, with this visionary message. And it is, I love you. And you're my queen. Yeah, because we have the empress here twice. All right. And, you know, uh, if they're a man, Sagittarius, then you're, they're your king. But, you know, the empress shows up. Yes, it's a female energy, but can be about love and affection and nurturing, right? Yeah, we don't know. Not everybody out there is going to be a woman. Of course not. Okay, so somebody asked me that in the in the comments. These are for men and women, okay? And any type of relationship, right? There's a heterosexual, uh, two women, two men. It's just about human, human beings, right? And love. Eight of Swords here, Sagittarius. This is your advice right? Take off the blindfold, release yourself. But for me, what this advice means is that they're releasing themselves. Because remember the 10 of wands is being dropped. A burden is being let go, a heaviness. Here's the five of cups, some type of sad ending. They're in solitude. Most likely it could be you, but this person is aching, but you need to understand that they're releasing themselves. I feel like that's it because what you're supposed to focus on here is them returning to you. Six of Cups reversed. And here is the High Priestess, which is your environment. With the Three of Wands, they're trusting their intuition for a future with you. Because remember, I said they've gone through an awakening, the meditation card, the traveling. That traveling card shows that they've totally went through an awakening. And that they, now that they are centered, wiser, grown, they understand that you guys belong together. I'm pretty sure here. And they understand this intuitively, of course, right? Yeah, that's what this is all about. Your hopes and fears, eight of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Here you are hoping that, you know, uh, they're going to be, you know, they're going to build with you. He's building. He's making these, uh, these bullions, right? He's the goldsmith and he's very inspired here and very involved and engaged with what he's doing. You're hoping they're going to be engaged and the four of pentacles. Yeah, so you're hoping that you're going to hold on to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
you could be hoping of uh, your hopes could be about something with money here mm -hmm. I don't feel like you're fearing this so much maybe there's a little doubt here am I going to hold on to them the queen of swords is your outcome and now we have the three of pentacles so this is you discerning are things going to work out with us pretty sure here yeah and i feel like they are here all right yeah they are let's look at let's see how they feel about you sagittarius but i just want to see what in the extended i want to see where they're at exactly because we have uh sadness and solitude here but i believe they have a message for you so yeah i yeah it looks like things are going to work out let's see here we're going to find out in the extended we definitely are Show me how they feel about Sagittarius. Show me how they feel. Show me how they feel about Sagittarius. Ten of Wands. Mm -hmm. See, they carried a major burden about you. They could feel like you've carried a burden about this. And this is an ending or a completion, the number 10. You may be the reason for an ending. You may be the reason for their burden. I feel like you are. And I don't mean this in a negative way. I mean the fact that I feel like they went through a, 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 a shocking realization and a shocking, like a very disturbing awakening about you. I'm pretty sure they have. So we're going to end this reading. And in the other reading, Sagittarius, uh, mm -hmm, we're going to go ahead and have the extended and we're going to start. Uh, the extended will be this reading here where we, with the tarot, and it is their current energy, what's crossing or challenging them, what they should be focusing on, what they're leaving behind, right? And their, their strengths, like what's kind of supporting them or what's in their favor, their hopes and fears, their advice. Yeah. So sit down and be quiet because Sagittarius might get mad at you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> because you are taming them over here and their environment. And in their extended also is going to be uh, we're going to start with meditation as their current energy, live dangerously. See, they're taking a chance here and they are meditating on that. And the traveling card is why it's all happening is because they have conquered themselves. They have grown here. This is going to be very powerful and interesting. I want to see it. So this is going to be a 10 card spread, right? This is just the beginning. Thank you so much. The link is below in the, in the description box. It's always there. They're always super affordable. Thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.